Hello, I'm the Craft Maiden. It's a new year and I thought I'd start up with a different project for you guys. If you have watched my vlog from June last year, you might have seen this already in the end of that video. This model of Hogwarts was my examination project as I started prop making, but I never really finished it, so it has been collecting dust ever since. As it's uh, such a big project, I need more time to finish it and I won't be able to fit it into one video. So I'm going to make this a project a series of videos through this year. I don't know how often or how many videos I'm going to make at this moment, but if you are subscribed and you have hit that bell button, you will get notified whenever I upload. So in this video I'm going to show you some pictures of the time when I built it, as I didn't film anything before I started YouTube, and recent videos deassembling it, as there are parts I'm not happy with. While you are going to watch this video, I'm going to answer some of your questions as I asked you on my social medias what you wanted to know about this build. So here we go! 1. How big is it? As everything really started after buying this book and finding the blueprint inside of it, I copied it onto an A3, a bit bigger, so I'm not sure about the scale, but the castle is 27 by 34 centimeters wide and about 16 centimeters high. 2. What was the hardest part to make? Estimating the height of the castle. I spent quite a time to studying all the movies and searching for pictures of it and then building a mock-up out of a box of cereals to actually find out the proportions. 3. Are you gonna make anything inside? As you can see here of the size that would be quite impossible but I will keep the idea for another project. Doesn't it change a little from movie to movie? The blueprint from the book is from the last movie and when I built it I used a lot of pictures from the model at the Warner Brothers studio tour in London, but some of the parts are only visible in the movies so there is a lot of merging of different views from all of the movies as well. It looks incredibly detailed what materials are you using to get that result. Even though I had a very tight schedule and teachers telling me that I should really continue working with cardboard, I still wanted to try something new and a lot sturdier than that. So I chose a material called plastic card instead. It is a material made out of styrene and it's surprisingly easy to work with. And if you have seen any of my other videos, you might have seen me work with it before. But this castle were the first time I ever used it and it was awesome to try out and find one of my now favorite materials. And if you want more information about it, you can check the description box down below for a link to a Q&A and a quick summary. Will you paint it? Yes, I will. It's a really fun project and I won't stop until it's painted. How long did it take? It has taken about 600 hours to get this far and I'm guessing I'm going to double that up before I'm finished with this project. From one thing to another, there is about 1018 windows and 136 gothic arches cut out on this project at the moment. Which tools did you use to do this so accurate? It looks amazing. Thank you very much. I usually use a regular scalpel or a exacto knife with a, a handheld drill with smaller drill bits that is made for model making. I also used rulers, angled irons, files and a lot of uh, tools really. You will see more of them in upcoming videos. What extent of the lake are you making? If at all, what are you using for the lake? I haven't really decided yet, but I will most definitely have some water down by the boathouse. So I don't know how big the space are going to be. And when I started this four years ago, I bought Woodland Scenic Realistic Water. But as it's so old by now, I don't really know if it will work as it's supposed to do. So I will try it out on video and maybe I will try some other stuff as well to see what will be best for this project. Will there be Hagrid's Cabin, the Pumpkin Patch, the Forest and the Greenhouses? Yes, there will be a Hagrid's cabin, there will be a pumpkin patch. I uh, don't know if I will be able to make the pumpkins, but at least it will look like it's something over there. I will make the trees as many as I can, and I have already started on the greenhouses. My vision for this project is that it will be a diorama, so I can watch over the grounds and wish I got my letter for Hogwarts. 
Will you have it light up? Uh, I really want to add fiber optics to it, but as I don't know anything about that field just yet, I have to study it to see if it's something I can do. But it would look quite awesome, wouldn't it? Are you making people, creatures to go around the castle and the grounds? I haven't planned on it as the scale already is quite small for the castle. The people or creatures uh, would be quite tiny, tiny dots. Uh, maybe I can make Hagrid and his half-brother standing somewhere in the forest edge. But as I don't know how anything will look like at the moment, I won't decide anything until it's finished. And the last question. Will there be a certain time and season that you are making it? I have always thought of this project in a summer setting and I think I will stick to that. But as everything is magical here, everything is possible, so maybe I will add a snowman or something like that, just for the fun of it. Uh, but as I like to improvise when I'm working, I won't decide on the details until it's coming to a close. So that's it for this Q&A, thank you all for your questions, I really hope this answered most of them. But if there's something I missed or something else you want to know, you can always leave a comment down below. And if there is something many people would like the answer to, I will add it in the next video in this series. And as usual, if you have any suggestions about future projects, as I will work on different stuff in between, you can always leave a suggestion down below as well. As I had a very tight schedule to work on this at school, I had to skip some corners and temporarily assemble the castle before the final presentation. So in this part of the video I'm going to deassemble some stuff that I'm not really happy with, like this bridge. It's really crooked, I made it in the last uh, minute before presentation itself. And I will probably have to redo it in all, as I won't be keeping the base the castle is standing on at the moment. It will be remade and be bigger than this. Here is also a few of the windows that I rushed and some of the roofs that I temporarily glued on to make it look finished. And of course Maximus had to sit on the case when I had it at home, so it broke and some of the roofs are damaged. And here are a very tiny beginning of a greenhouse. If it's interesting, maybe I could make a video only dedicated to the greenhouses. I really look forward into making the greenhouse with an open window in the roof where the plant is peeking through. But until then I will have to keep them safe in a glass jar. This part of the deassembling was kind of daunting. Even though I only used a really small amount of glue for the base, I still have struggled to remove it from it. The poly cement that is used to glue plastic card melts it and welds it together, so small amount goes a really long way. After the assembling everything, I guess I have to clean it. <laughs> but to keep it off from getting dusty when it's done, I'm going to make an acrylic glass case to cover it all. But I don't know the size before I'm done with the scenery. And hopefully it will be as sturdy as possible so no cats can jump onto it and crush it. Time sure flies by. I have really meant to continue this build ever since I finished school 2015, but I guess I never really found the time to continue it. But I hope that after making this video I kind of have to finish it, so I'm not the only one that wants to see the end of it, I guess. <laughs> And if any of you are wondering, I did pass the examination, even though I wasn't finished. I really wish I recorded this from the beginning for you all, but as there is no time turners left, I guess I can't go back in time to redo the past. But I still have some buildings left to make, so maybe that could work as a tutorial in how I made this, if you are interested in making your own Hogwarts. And that's all I will be able to show you this time, as I have to go and research all the reference photos again, as I have changed the computer, of course, since I started this, so I don't have anything left. Uh, but I did check a few of my uh, vacation pictures from Warner Brothers Studio Tour in June last year, and I can tell you I really want to redo even more, but as I am not after an exact replica, I don't really know where to find the balance, so I have to sit down and think about that as well. 
If you by any chance want more pictures of this or sneak peeks and other stuff I do on my spare time, you can always find more on Instagram as I post more often over there. You can find the link in the description box down below to get it with all my social media. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome stuff. Bye!